HoloLens already invites holograms into your living room, but you need to wear a headset. At Spy Photonics in San Francisco, several companies presented technologies that make 3D objects visible to the naked eye. This company is presenting a volumetric 3D imaging display. So technology is based on high-speed image projection and a, a multi-layer screen which switches very fast from layer to layer. So we are projecting, we're projecting image slices at, at certain uh, layers. And we control, we synchronize the whole thing and do it fast enough so human eye sees only a whole thing, a whole thing already as a continuous static image. Our key elements, of course, is these optical shutters. They are built on liquid crystal. The benefit of this system is that you don't need any glasses and you can do image that multiple persons can see. Trilight has been working on large glass-free 3D displays for entertainment and advertising applications in places like Times Square. The company is presenting a prototype and expects to proceed to mass manufacturing next year. What we are doing is, and then what you're seeing here, is our first prototype um, of a red, green and blue uh, module. And you just basically stack a number of these together to get whatever size screen you want to have. Uh, instead of using LEDs, which is what other, other companies are doing and which has been done in, for the past 20 years or so, uh, we are replacing the LEDs with uh, lasers and a mirror, and each pixel is basically made up of one of our so-called trixels. So um, what you're seeing here is basically um, a, a module, and that includes a trixel per pixel. And because we are using lasers and mirrors, we are capable of steering light, which enables you to, uh, to, to give you a 3D content without glasses, because we are as we are moving the image information as we're sweeping across from your left to your right eye, we are changing the image information. Um, and that way we can create a 3D effect. If 3D displays are becoming real, it is also due to improvements in spatial light modulator technology. We use micro displays, reflective micro displays based on liquid crystals. We can basically create and address electronically lenses, gratings, optical functions you can express as a phase function. Micro displays with a high resolution nowadays can really create very complex optical uh, structures such as a hologram and you see here a far field reconstruction of a 2D hologram. Because you only have a laser and there's no projection lens and the light just get diffracted here and you see an image. And the same technology enables the construction of color 3D images. And again here we have these spatial light modulators and in sequence we are addressing a red diffractive structure, a green and a blue. And also the same sequence triggered, we are shooting laser pulses, red, green, blue. And so we have a reconstruction, what looks to the human eye, who is relatively slow, uh, what looks like a color. If I switch off green and blue, I only have a monochrome. Uh, but I can also combine all of them, and so I have a colored reconstruction. Beyond entertainment, holography could have applications in the industry. X-ray inspection of luggage, X-ray inspection of uh, welding joints or any, any uh, X-ray inspection. It's very natural to show this in the whole depth and whole kind of inner internal structure of the, of the material. Star Wars and Back to the Future tech are definitely becoming real.